lecture number 20 and again in this lecture we are going to discuss about memory another piece of memory which is very interesting why it is interesting because here i'm going to answer the question which sometimes comes to your mind when you have this creepy feeling that why do i feel that i have lived this moment before and you know you you feel that way that you know everything looks so familiar you know you as though you know about this moment and that kinds of gives you a feeling that there is something you know supernatural about it because you are convinced that this has never happened to you before or this or you were never in this situation in this place before so that's what we are going to talk about and what we call that is deja vu so let me tell you as i progress through this lecture i'm going to gradually take you to that deja vu feeling i actually try to make you feel and understand why and how it happens okay okay this there were two lists actually of words and uh, I what I want you is to answer me which one you have seen before if you haven't seen it before if I have not given you an, you know, an um, decent glance of it then let me give you once again okay I think that was good enough now you can make your mind work and try to recollect which list you have seen before right or left hopefully most of you have answered the left one because all right I'm giving you more time to think That's wrong. yeah so this was the list which I have shown you earlier in the previous lecture when we were discussing about your false memory and what happens is when I showed you these two lists, this one appeared very familiar to you. And this is what we call perception fluency, you know, which means that it's become it becomes very easy for you to retrieve information because you have gone through that situation or those words, you know, or or that thing earlier. Now, what happened? last time when i showed you this list you took time to actually absorb you know you must have gone word by word you know through the list and maybe you know once again to absorb it to retain these words in your mind because that was a task which was given to you but the second time when it appeared before you it was very familiar you know you as though you knew it okay you know maybe the order or the words which are there in the list so this is what happens to you know you it becomes very familiar and and you know that you have seen it before so that idea is always there you know that you have seen it before i'll give you another example now this is an analogy which was first suggested by a scientist named mandler butcher in the bus now what happens here is say that you are in a bus which is filled with strangers or your eye that you know, goes through a bunch of strangers which are present in the bus and then you are as you were rolling your eye eyeballs through the crowd it gets stuck on this face and you feel that you have seen it before but you cannot recollect just keep in your mind the word what i'm using the sentence what i'm using is that you feel that you have seen him somewhere before okay now what has happened this could be your butcher butcher who you have seen before um, in that shop and you have gone to purchase mutton or chicken and he was uh, he had always been behind that apron which was stained with blood and all so in that context you have seen but when he got dressed up like this and appeared before you 
you have never seen him in this context before you have never seen him like this before in this appearance in this costume so he appeared different so all what you what was familiar to you were his features facial features and that made you think that okay i think i have seen him before but i cannot recollect but maybe you know, if time is given to you or if you stress your mind you know, more then you you might recollect where and when you have seen or you know you would say oh yeah i know you know he's the butcher so this is this is what happens when, you know as i said you know it's it's fluency it's like how fast you can retrieve but it's difficult for you to recollect deja vu now let's discuss about this and it's going to be really interesting familiarity without recollection now here you are absolutely sure that it has never happened to you before you have not seen him before or you are completely unaware of it okay because of which it you know makes uh, it a bit creepy you know a little scary or supernatural now say that you know this is a street in london which you have which you might have seen when you were um, you were you know around 14 or 15 years old um, in in a series okay on the television so uh, so they use this this street quite often for the shooting but while you were watching this series you you were following the characters you were following the story and this street appeared to in front of you quite a lot of time in the series but but you were not concentrating or focusing on the street rather you were focusing on the story on the characters so say that you know when uh, you turned 32 or 35 and you visited london and you were walking through the street there you just felt that you know oh my god this appears so familiar you know i just feel that i have lived this moment before everything is so exact you know as though it, it it's you know you feel it's it's already in your mind so that that creepy feeling comes to you and you are very much convinced and confident about the thing that you have never visited here before which you haven't but you have seen it somewhere you have seen it in that series you know long back years back when you were small but you cannot recollect so you get very convinced that this has never happened to you or you are completely unaware of it but you have this feeling this creepy feeling of you know having lived this moment before so that is deja vu now when you compare it you know as i said you know we are talking about fluency perception fluency but in this case it was without recollection so what happens when you look at your face into the mirror again and again every morning when you go to brush you look at yourself in the mirror do you think you know that feeling that creepy feeling comes to your mind like, who is this I mean this you know, he, he looks so familiar to me so obviously you know that feeling doesn't come to you because it is associated with very well recollection you know that you, know, you can recollect you know it's you so that doesn't happen you know, in that case so here i have seen you know this this these people they are somewhere and suddenly a mirror the glass appears before them where they see their reflection and obviously they don't feel that creepy but when they go through this road they feel that you know creepy <laughs> all right there's another example perception without awareness now what happens here for example you are standing at at your classroom door talking to uh, 
one of your seniors you are into a very uh, completely engrossed in a very serious discussion and then suddenly a thud sound comes from behind you know when this bunch of uh, say books it fell on the floor and then you, you just you know quickly turned your face and gave a glance and then again you know looked back at your senior and again you know got engrossed in that conversation what you were having so and then what happened after some time you again looked back and you felt that oh you know this is so familiar you know as though i have seen it before you know and this this is what this is what you saw when you heard that sound and when you looked back this is this was the scene so you got that feeling and you are kind of unaware unaware uh, of the glance uh, you know you couldn't recollect the glance what you gave you know few minutes back so this is what happens with us i'll give you another example uh, theory of mine now what happens sometimes you know when we are talking to a friend um they say something and we feel that oh you know i knew that this is what she's going to say I, I i knew that this is what you know these are the words what she's going to use so why that happens to us is because we have created a model of that friend you know how she is or how you know she usually behaves or reacts so we have that thing you know which help us to predict but for us prediction is noisy but it cannot be accurate because it is not accurate but when we go on predicting then to certain extent it becomes accurate and when that happened to you you know you you get that creepy feeling that oh you know i i just thought so i just felt that you know this is what she's going to say so this is this is what happens with our mind so yeah it was uh, all about your deja vu i hope you got the feel of it uh, although it's difficult to actually make you feel with these experiments uh, but hopefully you understood you know or you got the answer of the question that why do you feel in a time so creepy that you know i i have lived this moment before so this was all about your deja vu and uh, we'll discuss more and more interesting things about your memory see you